Welcome to the video tutorial for Magentic by Incredimail, a free provider of desktop wallpapers and screensavers, completely safe and free of spyware or adware. Magentic is a two-part system, with a website for downloading content from, and a software program where the downloads are saved to, from which point you can view them and apply them as your current appearance settings. This tutorial will guide you through the steps to download content from the Magentic web gallery and preview, apply, or delete it through the Magentic software program. This tutorial assumes you already have the Magentic software program installed on your system. If not, please download it from Magentic.com. First, go to Start, All Programs, Magentic by Incredimail, then click Magentic. Next, select a folder from the left column. The program comes with one sample folder. When you find a picture you like, you can right click the picture and click View Full Screen to see a preview of the picture. Click once to dismiss the preview. When you are ready to set a picture as your current desktop background, click anywhere on the thumbnail picture. A preview of the picture and comment from the program will appear. Click once to dismiss the preview or just wait and it will go away. To download wallpaper from the Magentic web gallery, click the Add Gallery Photos button in the top left corner of the Magentic program or go to magentic.com. For this tutorial, we will use Internet Explorer. However, any web, any major web browser, including AOL, should work fine. Once on the website, select a category from the column on the left, or from center screen. Next, select a subcategory. When you find a picture you want, simply click the thumbnail picture once and it will be downloaded and saved to your computer. If the Magentic program is not open at this time, it will launch and jump to the category for which you just downloaded a picture from. Otherwise, if it is already open, it will just jump to the appropriate category. You may still have to fetch it from the taskbar to bring it on top. If you downloaded a picture from a category which you do not already have any pictures from, a folder will be created when the download completes and the picture is saved. From this point, you may follow the same steps as mentioned before to set a picture from the Magentic program. For screensavers, the process is not much different. You simply launch the program, or bring it up from the taskbar if it's already running, and click the Screensavers tab at the top. This program will also create photo slideshow screensavers, but that is for another tutorial. From this point, click the Browse Animated Screensavers button in the bottom right corner, and select a folder from the column on the left. Some sample screensavers are also included with the Magentic program. To preview a screensaver, click its Preview button. To dismiss the preview, click Once Anywhere. When you find one to set, click its title to place the blue, light, blue highlight around it. If it is not already there, and click the OK button in the bottom right corner. To download screensavers from the Magentic web gallery, click the Get More Screensavers button in the top left corner of the Screensaver tab's main screen, or go to Magentic.com and click the Screensavers tab at the top. Again, we will use Internet Explorer. Browse Categories on the left, or choose a screensaver from the middle, and click the Download Screensaver button next to it to download and save it. You may see a second progress message momentarily while the screensaver is saved to your computer. If you download a screensaver for which you did not previously have any of that category, a new category folder will be created in your Magentic program and the screensaver you just downloaded added to it automatically. Either launch if closed or bring up the Magentic program from the taskbar. Make sure the screensavers tab is foremost at the top. If not, click it. And follow the same steps as before to locate and set the screensaver as your current one. 
One side note before we go. Based on reported user experience with the Magentic software program, it typically works better to put the pointer on the side scroll bar, hold the left mouse button, and drag the bar up or down, rather than use the scroll wheel or touchpad scroll feature. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Oh, wait, one moment, the delete part. Right. To delete anything in the Magentic program, simply right-click it and click Delete. Well, that's all for this tutorial. So long for now. This has been Bubba the Computer Guy.